ladies and gents. I hope everybody's doing well. <coughs> I'm just um, been playing, uh, making some tassels. And, um, excuse my phone, I'm just going to put it on silent actually. Do apologise. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite like making these. They're really, really quick to make. And um, I think they'd be awesome little embellishments. <coughs> Excuse me. You could put them on um, your little cards. You could you could even add these to flowers, um, to absolutely anything. When you're doing altered bags, altered boxes, you could have that as the, uh, you know, a, a, like a little pull to um, open your box with or to dangling down. Um, you could use them for, there's loads of things you could use these from. Now these measure about, well um, they're about two inches I think, yeah they're about two inches and then you can obviously have them plain or you can decorate them like I have with various bead caps. This has got um, what I call a claw bead cap on and this has got um, just a, a longer one like so and then this is one of the long long pointy ones um, and I've put a little crystal on the top so there's loads of different ways you could decorate them you could um, you know just leave them plain and put a little ribbon rose on or a little tiny bow I'm just going to quickly show you how to make them I've been inspired and um, I was on Pinterest earlier and came across a video and when I clicked on it um, it was um, Anna's Paper Creations who is more widely known for her fantastic album making and she'd been making some tassels and um, so that's where I got the idea to just have a go from and um, she, I, I then followed on to watch her make some uh, large shabby chic lace ones now ladies on scrimpies have been asking me if I had a tutorial and I didn't but I'm going to have a go um, I've watched how um, Anna's made hers and the stunning so I'm going to have a go after I've done this. <laughs> right, so I'm using here crochet cotton. Okay, it's a nice silky one. You could use anything. You could use wool, um, string, I suppose, absolutely anything. Um, this is a nice one. I bought it last summer when I went to visit my friend Kay and I never did get round to crocheting with it. So I thought I'd make some tassels. So you want to cut yourself a bit of a template. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's lovely and straight. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Um, it just wants to be roughly two inches wide because you're going to make a two inch tassel. And then you just have it long enough so you can hold it, really. That's the only reason it's got length because you're going to wrap around that, that uh, width there. Okay? So, um, you want to start off with a good long um, thread dangling over the edge. You want it about seven or eight inches at least okay so that's hanging off the top so you get your seven or eight inches hanging off the top and then you start wrapping around your two inch template now however many times you wrap around will depend on personal preference you might want your tassels thicker than that your thread might be thicker so it will be literally a case of when you think it's enough and I have been doing it 30 times and it's made a, a nice size, nice size tassel. So I've got my dangler here <laughs> and I'm going to wrap round 30 times. Now when you're wrapping round, wrap round nicely but don't go like, you're not like you're wrapping a scarf on somebody you don't like. You don't want it really tight or else you, when you come to slip it off your template it'll be really stiff and you'll get annoyed. And also, when you start wrapping, wrap as close to the edge as you can. Don't start wrapping right down here because you've got to get it off. Yeah? <laughs> um, so this is just long because you can hold it. Right, so I've got my long tail here. And I'm going to wrap around 30 times. And then I'm not going to talk while I'm doing it. And I'll tell those count. <laughs> One, two, three. Right, and then I'm just going to cut it off at the end. Now, that won't come undone now, so you can put that flat on your 
matte and now with this long tail let me just move these out of the way with, with your long tail see if you've got a long needle that you can uh, not a long needle one with a big eye you know so you can put your thread through it a normal sewing needle you see the eye wouldn't be big enough now this is where I struggle I'm just gonna put a spit on it <laughs> oh do you know come on I wouldn't mind but that is a massive hole but I'm still struggling because my my eyes my eyes are rubbish right so now that's my bottom that's my bottom bit is that my bottom bit right that should be like that Right, <laughs> I can't remember which were top and which were bottom then. So what you do is, you get your needle and you go through all of those layers of, um, you know, what you've wrapped around. And again, if you wrap it and bind it too tightly, you won't get your needle through. So think on. So you put your needle through, pull it out the other side, and then you'll have a loop there. I mean, shot, you'll have a loop there. So if you're not used to perhaps sewing, just get your needle and go inside the loop, like so, and pull. And that will tie that off for you. And then do it again, go through all of those. Pull it through. Find your loop. Put your needle inside the loop. And pull. Pull it. Okay, now it will look like it's not on the top because you you know it will be just there if you can see. I mean, shut. Yeah, it will be just there. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly on the top. That doesn't matter. Okay, so now you can take your needle off of there, and you're gonna slide that off. Now nothing's gonna come undone because it's been tied and the bottom is obviously full loop, so you've nothing to worry about. But slide it off carefully because you don't want it to get all messy. Right, so then you get hold of the top bit where you've tied it off and you do about a finger pinch, okay? That's a good measurement, a finger pinch. Okay, and then put your thumb at the end of that finger pinch and there you've got a small amount there. And what you're gonna do is, if you put that finger behind that finger, wrap around yeah, that will leave you enough space to form a knot. Okay? And then you want to just try and cajole that, that, that thread so that it just gives you, there you go, that there, like that. I mean, shot. <laughs> it's really difficult to keep in shot like that. And then I'll keep my fingers round there again, wrap it around. It's just giving me space to tie my knot but you can do it how you want uh, however you find it easier to tie your knots and again try and cajole that knot into the same place as the last one like so and that will hold it okay now your next step is to put your thread back onto your needle and you're just going to go up the centre of the top of the um, tassel so that it hangs better. So I've threaded that. So I'm just going to go into the tassel, anywhere will do, and then just sew up, up through the centre so that that thread is then in the centre and at the top of the tassel. Now at this point you could sew yourself a uh, into a loop, whatever, don't matter. Now I'm going to leave that like that, so then you've got the bottom and they're all still looped so you just get them together in a, a, a bunch and you just literally cut the bottom off. You don't need to slide your scissors into each loop, just cut straight across the bottom of the loops, just cut them off and there's your little tassel. Okay, there's your little tassel, that's your basic tassel. Now you can decorate it how you want. You could add a, a you know, glue on a little bow, or if you can tie bows, 
you could put on a little tiny ribbon rose. I don't have one to hand, strange enough, because I normally do, but never mind. Uh, you know, you could put some really skinny ribbon and make a little bow. Or like I've done here, you can utilise bead caps and thread bead caps on just to make them a little bit different. So let me give you an example. So here's one. Uh, you know, have a look in your bead caps. I mean, I've got these. These would be nice as well, probably. That would probably, would that go on? Just have a look and see if they'd fit over that little kind of where you've knotted it there. Um, so I'm going to use this bit, ooh, this bead cap here. Now it's still threaded, so I can just literally if I can make sure it stays on. Thread it through my bead cap, making sure that the hole's big enough for the needle, and then just gently pull your tassel in, like so. And there you go. That's all you do, and you've got yourself a lovely little tassel again. You could embellish that further. You can get this string here, and uh, because you've left it nice and long, you can pinch it with two fingers, wrap it round. I don't know if I'm in shot. Tighten a knot. Try and keep your knot as low down as you can, and then just snip that tail off. That's if you want a loop, it's quite easily done. Like that. Or you can just have them plain. Um, like this one I've left like that without a loop so that I could perhaps add it to something else. Um, cute little tassels. You could make an absolute load of those in no time. Um, which is what I'm going to do right now. So go and have a go and uh, see what you can come up with and see how different you could decorate them and make them your own. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay, keep your eyes peeled for the Shabby Chic lace tassels coming probably tomorrow. Bye for now.